بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This video is related to regression analysis course offered to students who study applied mathematics at Palestine Polytechnic University. In this video I will show you how to, to find the sampling distribution of P1. P1 is the estimated slope in the simple linear regression model with one predictor variable. So let us first have a look at our concern model here. Our model is written in this way. KYI equal beta 0 plus beta 1 xi plus epsilon i, where yi is the response variable. And here we have beta 0 and beta 1 are uh, the unknown parameters, where beta 0 is the y-intercept and beta 1 is the slope. Uh, we have also xi here, which is uh, non-constant. We call it a predictor variable or explanatory variable. Uh, also, the, the last term is epsilon i here. Uh, we assume here in this model that epsilon i are uh, independent and identically distributed, and the distribution of and the distribution of x i of sorry epsilon i is normal is normal with mean zero and variance sigma square and variance sigma square. In previous lectures, uh, we proved that, or let's say we derived the, the estimators of beta zero and beta one using least square estimation and maximum likelihood estimation. And we showed that B beta zero can be estimated, or let's say first beta one can be estimated by B one. And the value of B one was summation of X i minus x bar times yi minus y bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar square and we give a notation for this for these terms as sum xy divided by sum xx this is the least square estimator or the, the, the mle of beta 1 the the least square estimator of beta 0 is given by B0 and we, we showed that the value of B0 is y is y bar minus B1 x bar and this is the value of B1. The goal in this uh, video is to, to show you that B1 is normally distributed with mean beta 1 and variance sigma square x sigma square divided by sum x x where sigma square is the variance of epsilon i before that you see y i is equal beta 0 plus beta 1 x i plus epsilon i in fact y i is written in two terms as a, as the sum of two terms the first term is constant and the second term is random is random the first term is constant in the sense that in the sense that beta 0 and beta 1 are unknown parameters and we assume in our model that xi are uh, fixed non constants while epsilon i are random error, random error terms, and in our model here we put this assumption that the random error terms are normally distributed with mean zero and variance sigma square. So as you see here, y is the sum of two terms. The first term is constant, and the second term is random. So the distribution of y i, the distribution of y i is normal since epsilon i are normal with mean beta 0 plus beta 1 xi because the mean of epsilon i is 0 and the variance of yi is sigma squared because the variance of epsilon i is sigma squared just keep this result in your mind now let's go back again to beta b1 
we need to show that B1 we need to show here B1 is normal distributed with mean normal distributed with mean B1 and variance uh, sigma square sum x x divided by sum x x so in this uh, issue we need to prove three things we need to prove three things the first thing the distribution of B1 the second thing we need to show that the mean of B1 is beta 1 expectation of B1 equal uh, beta 1 let us repeat here because may, you may not see this on the screen so again we need to show that B1 has a distribution which is normal and the second thing we need to to find the mean of b1 and we need to show that the expectation of b1 is beta 1 and the third thing we need to find the variance of b1 which is sigma squared divided by sum xx so let us start with the first one the distribution of b1 the distribution of b1 again b1 equal summation of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar square I can rewrite this one in as follows the numerator can be written as summation of xi minus x bar times yi okay minus summation of xi minus x bar times y bar times y bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar squared look at the numerator we have this term y bar here is fixed in terms of i so i can take it away out of the summation so i can write a summation of xi minus x bar times yi here yi cannot go outside the sum because it is yi it depends on i while here i can take y bar outside the summation summation of xi minus x bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar square you know that this term is zero because this is the sum of the deviations the sum of the distances from the xi and their mean x bar so this is zero and hence b1 can be written as it's only summation of xi minus x bar times yi divided by summation of xi minus x bar squared also i can rewrite it as summation of xi minus x bar times yi divided by summation of xi minus x bar squared i can write this one in this way because this sum is fixed with respect to this sum so now as you see we have summation of xi minus x bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar square multiplied by yi all of these are inside the sum the sum so if you see this term this term here is in terms of x only x we don't have y here so in fact this is fixed because in our model we assume that x is non-constant or x is a fixed not random variable so it has no distribution so let us assume that this term is uh, let's say ki is constant times yi so at the end at the end we write b1 as summation of ki multiplied by yi 
and this is a linear combination of yi so as we know because epsilon i is normally distributed and yi is the sum of the of a constant term with the with epsilon i so the distribution of yi is normally distributed as i show you before here i told you to keep this in your mind so yi is normally distributed and now b1 is a linear combination of yi so we know this from the statistical inference course or mathematical statistics course that b1 is a linear combination of normal distribution so it is normal so it has a normal normal distribution so its distribution is normal so this is the first the first result the second thing that i want to show you is the mean of b1 is beta 1 that means b1 is an unbiased estimator of beta 1 so let us start with expectation we need to, to show the second thing we need to show expectation of b1 equal beta 1 so let us uh, let's us start with b1 equal summation of ki let me start with this one ki times yi now expectation of b1 expectation of b1 equal expectation of summation of ki times yi you know the linear property of the expectation or the expected value i can see that the expectation of the sum equal the sum of the expectation and also here ki is constant so we can have ki outside of the expectation but not outside the sum because k, k depends on i so we have summation of ki ki multiplied by expectation of yi expectation of yi recall that again if we go back to this result this one we said yi is normally distributed with mean with mean beta 0 plus beta 1 xi so here i can replace expectation of uh, yi by by beta 0 plus beta 1 xi or i can write summation of of or uh, if you apply the distributive law here uh, this is uh, beta 0 summation of ki okay beta 0 is constant with respect to i a plus again here beta 1 also i can take it away beta 1 summation of ki xi if you see we need we need to show we need to show this one equal beta 1 we need to show expectation of b of b1 equal beta 1 equal beta 1 so the, the the result here should be beta 1 so in order to to have beta 1 here we need to to, to prove that summation of ki is 0 and summation of ki xi is is 1 if we assume if, if we approve the if, if we prove these two uh, if we if we prove that summation of ki equals zero and summation of ki xi equal one, that means our our proof is completed. So let us first prove that summation of ki equal zero. Summation of ki summation of ki equal summation. What is ki again? Go back this is ki this is ki so summation of xi minus x bar divided by 
xi minus x bar sorry divided by summation of xi minus x bar square again this sum is with is is fixed with respect to this sum so i can write it as summation of xi minus x bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar square here the numerator is is zero the numerator is zero so so summation of ki is zero and this is what we need to to prove the first one the second one we need to prove that summation ki xi is one so let's start with summation ki xi equal summation of again ki is xi minus x bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar square multiplied by xi so this is xi here and all is inside the sum i can rewrite it as again this sum is fixed with respect to this sum i can take it away so i can write it in this way summation of xi minus x bar square and in the numerator we have summation of xi minus x bar multiplied by xi xi also i can write this one as summation of xi minus x bar times xi minus x bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar square we have seen this one before just look let's let's go back to 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 show you where we have seen similar one to this if you look at this one look at this one we have shown that if you look just look at the numerator here look at the numerator here we have summation of uh, xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar equal summation of xi minus x bar times yi because as as you see here we have the sum of the deviations equal equal zero always so so now the, the numerator is summation of xi minus x bar square divided by summation of xi minus x bar square and so this is this is one and this is the second term here here which is this is one and also this is zero so our uh, second result that we need to show is done again our goal is to prove that b1 is normally distributed which is done and the mean of b1 is beta 1 which is done now we need to show that the variance of the variance of b1 is sigma squared divided by sum x x so let's start with this one now again b1 equal summation of ki yi yi so the variance of b1 equal variance of summation ki yi the variance of the sum equal the sum of the variance the variance of the sum equal the sum of the variances yeah if yi are uncorrelated and they are uncorrelated because in our model we start with epsilon i epsilon i we said that uh, is normally distributed with mean zero and variance sigma square and also we said epsilon i are independent are independent epsilon i are independent that means or or let's say we we started with the epsilon i are uncorrelated uncorrelated does not implies independence but since we assume the normality here in our model or we assume epsilon i are are normally distributed 
epsilon i epsilon j are uncorrelated this implies that epsilon i epsilon j are independent anyway here since epsilon i epsilon j are uncorrelated y i y j also uncorrelated so the, the covariances will be will be zero so at the end we have the variance of the sum equal the sum of the variances Keep in mind that the covariances are, are zeros. Okay, now we have k which is constant. Yeah, so I can take it outside the variance square. So it will be summation of k i square multiplied by variance, variance y i. <coughs> we know variance y i equal, equal sigma square. Sigma square, constant variance with respect to i. So this is constant with respect to the sum, so I can take it outside. So sigma square times summation of, of ki square. Okay, uh, we need to prove that the variance of v1, we need to prove that variance of v1, let's write it again here, we need to show that variance v1 equals sigma square divided by sum xx. This is what we need to show. So so here we have sigma square so what we need to show is summation k i square equal 1 over sum x x and then our proof is done so let's show now that this is equal 1 over sum x x summation of k i square equals summation of ki again it is sum of xi minus x bar square and in the numerator we have xi minus minus x bar and since here we have a square so this is all square all square so i can take the square for the numerator and the square for the denominator and then i can take this one this sum inside the uh, numerator so we have in the denominator we have summation of xi minus x bar square square and in the numerator we have summation of xi minus x bar a square so this is equal in fact this this term will cancel with the square so what is remaining is 1 over summation xi minus x bar a square and this is 1 over sum xx so summation of ki square equal 1 over sum xx so at the end at the end we have we have our our result which is variance of v1 equal sigma square over sum xx so to sum up in this video we proved this result v1 is normally distributed with mean beta 1 and variance sigma square over sum xx this result is very important to do uh, some testing problem concerning beta 1 and uh, to construct confidence interval for beta 1 uh, this is this is will be uh, needed for next lecture inshallah that's all for this video and uh, see you uh, uh, next time.